What's up everyone, Carter here, and with me is million dollar eBay dropshipper, Paul J. Lipsky, and today we're gonna break down how you can dropship on eBay step by step as a complete beginner. It's almost as easy as a copy and paste job. It really I mean, is, you're gonna see, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. that's pretty much the only skill you need, copy yeah, and paste. Yeah, so as long as your fingers work and you can click a mouse and you have some Wi-Fi on your computer, you can dropship on eBay. So we're gonna go onto Paul's computer, we're gonna share his screen, and we're gonna go into just how you can start your own eBay dropshipping business. So let's get right into it. Cool. So I know I've been showing you this kind of all day, but um, <laughs> we only have like a short amount of time to show people at yep. home. So I'll try to make this quick. There's obviously a little bit more that goes into this, but this is basically how it starts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna start by going over to Walmart. Okay. So in this case, what we're doing, this type of dropshipping, we're dropshipping from websites like Walmart onto eBay. So once the item sells on eBay, then I buy it from Walmart, ship it directly to the customer. So first we have to find the right items to, to put up for sale on eBay. So I wanna use Walmart here. So literally, you're gonna search for any item. It doesn't matter at this point. Don't, don't, <laughs> Anything. don't overcomplicate this. Um, I'm gonna search for bookshelf, bookshelves, bookshelves, Sorry. yeah. Um, and this is not necessarily an item that you're going to drop ship. Just literally, just pick any random item here. Uh, I'll just pick the the first one that comes up. I'm just gonna open it in a new tab, and I'm going to copy the title. Again, this might not even be an item I drop ship. You'll, you'll see why this is important in a second. And then I'm gonna come over to eBay and search for that item, and we'll see what comes up. Yeah. Because our goal here is we are looking to find other people who are drop shipping this item. Because if they're drop shipping this item, they're also drop shipping other items. Oh, home run, yeah. home So runs. once we lock into that, we can see, okay, what are they selling? Can we sell the same items? And if you know people are already selling the items, you could start selling them right away, okay? So once we pull that up, I, I first come over here in Walmart, I look at the photos, like try to, kind of have put in your short-term memory what these photos are. So here's one with the door halfway open. Here's one with the measurements on it. Here's a corner. And um, then I come over to eBay and I look for listings that have the same photos because that means they're drop shipping it. So this one kind of looks like the same thing, right? Yeah. So let's open that one up. And yeah, it's got 51 people watching it. Yeah. A lot of people are interested. <laughs> okay. Oh, sold, right. sold four times already. Yeah, so uh, don't don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get <laughs> First, we got to make sure it's the right item. <laughs> exactly. I know it can get exciting. Okay, so uh, these are obviously the same photos, right? You see that? Mm -hmm. So we just found a person who's drop shipping. They're drop shipping this item. Where'd it go? From Walmart onto eBay. Here it is, right here. So that's like step one. We found another drop shipper, right? Yep. Step two would be let's see what else they are selling. Now in this case, we got lucky because- <laughs> We did. Because this item is selling, it's already selling. You can see that yeah. right here. This is, we're kind of skipping ahead here, but yeah. we're gonna take advantage of this. Depth, but. Because um, the great thing about eBay is they tell you what sells well. It tells you right here, yep. look at that, four sold. So you don't have to guess if an item is going to sell well. Mm -hmm. You can see it, it's right here, it says four sold. So this is an item that I would drop ship. Again, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, <laughs> but let's, um, let's, 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 we did step one, we found another drop shipper. Let's mm -hmm. go on to step two. We can always come back to this later. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna click on their name, which is over here on the right. And this is going to open up their, all their items. And you can see all of them by right here. It says items for sale and then number, click on that. And what you're looking for is anything that they've sold. So right here at the top, we see this item sold 189 times. Just 189 times. times. This <laughs> one sold 108 times. This one sold 97. These are all items that are being drop shipped. So right now you have a, a large variety of winning products right here. So let's um, let's pick, up, pick a random one. So let's do this one, this coffee table. Again, we could see that it sold 55 times. So this is kind of like the next step. We found an item that they are already selling well. 
okay? So the next step after that would be we now have to find where they are drop shipping this from so that we can sell it ourselves, okay? So I'm gonna scroll down to the description, which is right here. See this block of text? I'm just going to copy it. So again, Co copy. copy and paste. <laughs> hey, I, I didn't clickbait this video at all. It's literally copy and paste. So if you guys don't know how to copy and paste, I, I'll teach it to you. <laughs> you uh, right click, or if you have a MacBook, <laughs> you hold down control and click. Oh my gosh. And you press copy. And then you go over to Google, Google, and you paste it in there and you click search. And I'll actually show you a shortcut later as if that wasn't fast enough. So you search for the entire description and what it does is it will find the item. In this case it's Walmart. So, but if they might be drop shipping from Home Depot, they might be mm -hmm. drop shipping from Amazon. So when the search results come up, pick one of those. In this yep. case is Walmart. And now we're gonna do the reverse of what we did before. So we are going to make sure that this is this item. We're gonna make sure that these match up. So again, we're gonna look at the photos. Let's look at all these photos on eBay. So here's one with like candles on the top and books on the bottom. This one has more books and flowers on top. And then here, yeah. Yep, flowers. Same item. So right here, boom, we just found an item that's being drop shipped. So this is an item that I would sell right, right. here. So just to kind of recap that part of it, step one, search for a random item on Walmart, and then we copied the title, pasted it into eBay and searched, and everyone that came up that had a matching item, those people are drop shippers. So step one, we just found a whole bunch of drop shippers. Step two, we came in to this drop shipper, looked at all their items, and we saw what items are selling well. So that's step two, we see what items are already selling in their store. And then step three is we copied the description and we searched for it on uh, Google and we found an item that we could drop ship. Exactly. So let me show you just that last step one more time. Let's find yeah. another one and then I'll show you how to actually get your item onto eBay. Yeah. So let's look at this one. Yeah. It sold 47 times. Looks pretty good yeah, to me, right? Good. For $121, sold 47 times. It's a lot of revenue. I would like that. <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> so again, going down to the description, highlighting it. And this time, when you right click, if you're using Google Chrome, you actually see there's a button here that says search oh. Google for. So that's kind of a shortcut. Yeah. That will actually search on Google for you. Saves you like a step. And then here's the item on Walmart. Probably. Oh, no. Okay. No big deal. This happens sometimes. Yeah. Um, it could be that this item is no longer available. Let's check. I've never drop shipped from this website, but maybe this is where they're getting it from. Yeah, could be. It's possible. Let's see what else we have. We have an Amazon listing. Let's check out that one. Uh, that's not right. That's too, that's too expensive. They might just be drop shipping from that, that random site, whatever that yeah, was. Yeah, they could be. Or maybe they were, were doing it from Walmart. Maybe their Walmart's just uh, has a glitch or something. I mean that that happens. Okay. That's that's part of that's this is part of the process, honestly. Yeah. So um, like you'll go through and you'll run into these roadblocks. So it's kind of good that it came up. Okay, sweet. Yeah, makes um, sense. But I'll show one more. Um, okay, yeah, I'll show one more. Let's try this one. One hundred twenty-six, one hundred twenty-seven dollars sold, thirty-one, 31 times. times. Pretty nice, right? Yep. So again, come down to the full description. Search Google. And here's something on Walmart. See that? Walmart. Mm -hmm. Let's open that one up. And Ooh. let's check out the photos. Yeah, I gotta make sure we check those photos. So these are what they look like. And over here, this is like not the right item. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's the right item. Oh, okay, here we go. Wow, look at that See, mark. This is, you, this is why you gotta look through. 60 70 dollars into what was it a hundred something hundred 127 oh my that's <laughs> they're making then, a lot of money off that listing that's yeah and you saying. also want to look like especially with something like this is a little bit of a uh, a tip for you guys mm -hmm. something like this what comes in different sizes you also want to make sure you get the right size so this is yep. twin and this says twin yeah right so boom i mean that's a 
that's a good markup. Yeah, for sure. I'm almost shocked. That's, that's definitely the right item, right? Yeah. Look at that. Ooh. So boom. Um, so this is the one we're gonna. This is the one we're <laughs> gonna do. Okay. Okay. So now we found this item. We are going to now drop ship this. Okay. So remember, what's the one skill we need? Copy and paste, right? So copy and paste. So check out how easy this is. Um, what you're going to do, what you would do in the past to get this onto eBay is you would create you would create a listing on eBay, create a new listing, and you would copy the title, the photos, and the description, and paste them into eBay. So it's copy and paste. Mm -hmm. and that's pretty easy. But I'm not even going to show you how to do that because I, I know a way that's much, much easier. Ooh, so it's easier than that? Yeah. <laughs> So this is a tool I use called AutoDS. Uh, DS stands for dropshipping in this case. This is software designed by dropshippers for dropshippers because this will help automate a lot of your business for you, your dropshipping business. So we don't have an item on eBay yet. So what we're going to do is this is the item on Walmart. I'm literally going to just copy the URL. That's it, just the URL at the top. Then coming over to AutoDS, it says here product uh, ID or URL. I'm going to paste in there. Here I'm going to select Walmart because this is a Walmart item. And then click grab details. And if we give it just a few <clears throat> seconds, what it's doing is it's pulled in the title, it's pulled in the photos, and based on the settings that I had set up, it is automatically calculating the sell price for me. So it knows how much I need to sell it for in order to cover my fees and in order to yep. make a profit. I can see right now I, I don't have it set up correctly. That's that's my fault because I I, I, mess, I I was messing with things in the settings, I think in a in the last video we made. Um, but if you have if you have your settings set up correctly, uh, then it would automatically calculate the correct price for you. These are the item specifics. Now if you've sold on eBay before then you know that item specifics are really important because what they do is they allow buyers to more easily find your items. So they can search by the color of the item, they can search mm. by the UPC, they can search by the size or the manufacturer, or the weight, all these things. eBay wants more of these item specifics and the more that you have, the higher they rank you in the search results. So the great thing about AutoDS is it automatically creates a lot of these for you. So it um, it really increases the chance of your item getting seen, which is uh, really cool. Then they pull in all the photos for you and uh, you can like mess with which photo you want first or you can just leave it alone the way it is. And it makes a really, really nice looking description right here. So it pulls in the image here, it puts the whole description in here and then um, it has all your shipping information down at the bottom, all of that. And that's it. I mean, all you have to do at that point is click save product. Um, okay, and it'll tell you if you're missing anything. So it says I need to fill in a field called type. So let's find that. And it says this is bed frame and mattress. So this, I also need the length. So let's take a quick look at that, yeah. see what the length is. Oops. Um, the length is, is it right here? 36 uh, by 73. 73. 17. And then the item height is less than a foot. And those are all the requirements. So all these yeah. red stars are required, okay. but it looks like uh, that's all that's required. So. The good thing about that is that if I had forgotten those, mm -hmm. then eBay would have rejected it. Okay. They, they would have said That's that good. you're not allowed to list it. But AutoDS knows that would have happened, so it warned me. It said, hey, you gotta yeah. fill that in. Otherwise, Smart. that's just gonna get rejected. So now I can I can post it, and boom, now that item is being sent to my eBay account. And Copy and list. paste, and a little bit of scrolling. That's yeah. <laughs> really all you did, really all you did. And the cool thing is now, this, so let's go back here. This item on Walmart is now linked up with my listing on eBay. So if anything changes like the price or the stock on Walmart, that will automatically change on eBay for me. Wow. 
So I don't have to worry about the item going up in price. I don't have to worry about the item going out of stock because that software will make all those changes on eBay for us. And that's the basic copy and paste method for <laughs> eBay dropshipping. Wow, so I mean, just like that, copy and pasting, a little bit of scrolling, we found a profitable and successful product and we already listed it on eBay in what, like less than a minute? Yeah, it's really that fast, yeah. And I mean, obviously that's like the super like beginner kind of like, how would you do it? Like if you're just starting out now, we know you're a million dollar eBay drop shipper. Like you're doing this at a large scale. You have virtual assistants, you know, you're doing crazy amounts of volume when it comes to selling, you know, what can someone do in order to maybe like, you know, follow a guideline or a blueprint, you know, maybe they've reached the point where they're, you know, getting a good amount of sales or they have the process down. How can they take that beginner process, you know, where they're making some pretty good sales and just blow it out of the water and, you know, potentially change their life and make a really good amount of sales? Yeah, that's a good question because when I started, I mean, obviously right now where, where I've gone with my stores is at a, at a good level um, that's higher up there. But when I started, I started right where everyone else started and where every eBay seller starts, which is at zero with nothing. And I was doing this basic thing that I just showed in this video. Like it was really not that much different. Um, the difference is that when I started, I didn't have any sort of program to follow that was up to date, that revealed everything to me about how to do it successfully. So I was learning, I was figuring it out, but it was really, really difficult because I had to figure it out. And it took me a long time and a lot of mistakes. You know, I wasted a lot of time and money to figure that out. But now that I've figured it out and I want to share that with people, that now gives you a choice because you can do the same thing I did, which was waste a lot of time and money trying to figure it out on your own, or you can accelerate your success by following a proven system where you learn from my mistakes and you can see exactly what I've done. And so that's why I created my course, which is called eBay Dropshipping Titans, because it gives you that option to, to take that sort of shortcut to learn from someone else who has already been successful. And we'll have this linked up in the description so you go check out the whole, the whole page. You can read everything, read what's in the course, what it goes over, and some things like that. Cool. Uh, I'll quickly show it real yeah, quick. Yeah, go ahead and show so, it. So um, when you click the button down below, your page will look uh, pretty similar to this. And um, if you scroll down, this right here shows you everything that's included in the course, all the videos. So there's a good section telling you how to set up your eBay account. If you've never done that before, I walk you through it. And most of my videos or all of them are pretty similar to how this video went. You can have one screen open with the course and next to it, your own screen and just follow along with me, especially with these setups. Yeah. It's just when I do A, you do A. When I do B, you do B, et cetera, et cetera. That way, you set up your store correctly, you never have to worry about it again. Uh, then we have a whole module where I teach you how to do the product research. And again, this video was only like short because yeah, we had limited short. time, it's YouTube, but this module we go much more in depth with more examples. So you'll learn a lot more about product research there. Then I actually show you how to list it uh, again, I showed you that software, but here I'll show you how to set it up, how to use it right, how to set your margins so they're not- That's important, yeah. that's important. So they're not zero like, like it was for ours, um, but I'll show you the correct settings to use. And then we go into some more advanced stuff, how to process your orders, customer service, and this is really how to scale up your business. This module I love, module eight, because it's all about how to make more money on every sale without making more sales. Uh, which is wow. a that's a game changer. Yeah, and as you see, there's a lot of different tricks to do that. So I give you, I give you all of them right here, and then we have some more advanced stuff for once you level up at that point. So um, yeah, if you're interested in that, you can just scroll down to where it says enroll and click through, and um, you'll be in the program. And if you want some student testimonials from some some of my students, you can scroll down further. Uh, this is Seth. He he's doing over a hundred thousand dollars a month in sales. Amazing. Um, here's some more testimonials here and some more screenshots from other students. So the other thing I forgot to say is when you join the course, you get access to my private Facebook group, which is just for other members of this course. So no one can just join it unless they're a member of this course. And people are asking questions in there. I answer questions. 
uh, people post up their their results so here's um, some postings that people made I just got this post today that literally this morning from one of my students who uh, you know he's just started recently and he's doing really really well you can wow. see those numbers right there uh, so yeah that's the kind of encouragement you'll see in the group the kind of engagement and uh, I think that that alone is worth it wow yeah. that is that's amazing. I'll have that the link to his course and the first link in the description of this video. Anyways, that's it for this video. Paul, thank you. Thank you for that breakdown. And honestly, you want you guys watching this video, drop a like. I mean, what he just explained, people pay him tons and tons of money to do, and he just gave away a ton of value for free. Um, just I mean, he we literally within a couple of minutes found a couple winning products that had sold, what, like 30, 40, 100 plus times. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's some really, really good money. And if you have any questions regarding anything we went over in this video, comment below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to see more content just like this on how you can create an extra stream of income online, then subscribe to this channel. And I'll see everyone in the next video.